Right now, there are over 3.4 million subreddits, meaning there are more subreddits than there are people who live in Chicago. Yet out of these 3.4 million, roughly only 138,000 are actually active. That's only 4%. There's plenty of reasons subreddits get abandoned. Some were never populated with more than a few users anyway, while others were replaced with newer, more relevant subs. Some got banned and some were sabotaged, but the most common is the sub just simply losing relevance. Like I can almost guarantee that the Jurassic World app subreddit is not going to be in the top five anytime. This typically happens when a subreddit is starved for content. Users lose interest and leave. Usually this would result in the subreddit being completely abandoned, but in extremely rare cases, a subreddit will turn into a genetic abomination that represents its original state in name only. And an ancient Greek paradox once asked, if you replace all the parts of a subreddit but keep the same name, is it still the same subreddit? Well, that's what we're going to find out today. So let's start with one of the most unhinged ones, r slash Playboy Cardi. People who are obsessed with celebrities may be less intelligent. Studies suggest Carti could be stroking it right now, and we won't know it, unfortunately. You probably have heard of Playboy Carti as the guy who did this with Aiden Ross. Stand over here. Okay. Hey, How tall are you? I'm like 5'9". Mm -hmm. How tall are you? 6'2". Or the guy who released Magnolia, depending on how old you are. He's become such a meme now that it's easy to forget how legitimately impactful he was on modern rap music. Cardi basically perfected the trap sound that everyone was trying to do in the mid 2010s. He was like those terrible SoundCloud rappers, but took everything actually compelling about it and just focused on that, which earned him insane commercial and critical success. I'm feeling a light to decent seven. On this thing. After all these guys fizzled out, Cardi not only stuck around, but became massive in the music industry. So naturally, people made a subreddit to discuss his music as they do for any artist. It started pretty normally, simply discussing Cardi's music, but the problem is, after putting out his self-titled mixtape in 2017, then his debut album, Die Lit, in 2018, Cardi started putting out way less music than he usually did. His two most iconic projects at the time were released within a year of each other, and now all of a sudden, basically radio silence from Cardi. Leaving the subreddit with basically nothing relevant to talk about, apart from some unreleased leaks that sound like a torrented LimeWire file playing on a Game Boy Color. So when a subreddit has nothing to talk about, one, the subreddit completely dies, or two, it goes off the rails. I'm sure you could guess where the Playboy Cardi subreddit went. The subreddit became a back and forth to outdo each other for the most insane meme possible. It also became a meme how Cardi was never going to drop new music. Did you know that the last time Cardi dropped, everyone in this photo was still alive? Eventually, Cardi did drop an album in 2020 that the fans had been waiting for, and the subreddit went crazy. Finally, Cardi is back. It should be noted that two years between albums is actually pretty good, but there is also a stereotype that Cardi's fan base is younger. These Zoomers need their music and they need it now. But be careful what you wish for, because since 2020, there's been basically nothing from Cardi. This has led to the subreddit going completely insane, to the point where it's barely even about hip hop or Cardi anymore. It's actually become a meme in the subreddit that a lot of posters don't even know who Cardi is. And if they do know who he is, they know a little too well. Remember how I said Cardi's fan base is stereotyped as young? Well, the subreddit basically turned into teenagers, but without all the groups. Groomers. And if you want proof, Teenagers is full of groomers. I made a video about that. And who knew it, but internet addicted Zoomers who spent some of their best years locked down during COVID are actually pretty funny or just completely unhinged. You be the judge. This subreddit has gotten so massive that it's kind of an open secret within the hip hop community. And a lot of speculation has been done to determine whether rappers are aware of its existence. I mean, it's super, super popular. It's one of the most popular subreddits in the entire hip hop landscape. Although nothing was confirmed until Lil Uzi Vert gave us the proof we needed. That rappers as big as him are aware of its existence. When he commented on a post 
Okay, deleting Reddit for now. By the way, it was confirmed that this is Lil Uzi's real account on his subreddit. And what was the post that scared him away? Fan-made album art for a collab between him and Cardi. It's been nearly four years since Cardi dropped any sort of album, mixtape, or even EP, and yet the subreddit shows zero sign of slowing down. Cardi fans were so starved of music that they resorted to posting entire unedited episodes of SpongeBob. Also giving updates on breaking news from years ago. Just to put it in perspective how insane this whole thing is, imagine if these mods started removing posts for irrelevance like they do on other subreddits. I mean, you'd probably get something more on topic like r slash Frank Ocean, where Frank Ocean hasn't put out an album since 2016, yet the posts are somehow still on topic. But if that happened, we'd be deprived of masterpieces like this. Who produced Skeleton? Just curious because the beat is heavenly. Google it, simple, delete this, and fuck off, now. Do you think Cardi touches himself? He's too cool to, in my opinion. Thoughts? Nigga, go to sleep. This has been said before, but this sub has the most mature hip hop audience on Reddit. I can't tell you how many hip hop subs I unsubbed from for being childish, posting cringe, low effort. Y'all ever put a finger in your ass? The Playboy Cardi subreddit got so big that it's now blending into other hip hop subreddits like r slash future. There's actually been a bit of an ongoing war with a bunch of the r teenagers refugees infiltrating the Playboy Cardi subreddit, which let's just say has not been received well as anyone who's been on r slash teenagers will know there's a culture of karma farming which doesn't integrate well with the Playboy Cardi subreddit posting things like this. But before we continue, I want to shout out today's sponsor, the most comprehensive vehicle combat game ever made, War Thunder. War Thunder is available now for free on PC and consoles. You can take command of over 2,500 tanks, planes, helicopters, and ships of 10 major nations, ranging from biplanes and armored cars of the 1920s to fighter jets and main battle tanks of today. If you're a history buff like myself, you'll love all the customization features which have real historical markings, but also let you get a little creative. They also have different game modes depending on which way you want to play, whether you want something more chill like arcade or something super realistic like simulator mode, you could swing both ways or even find the middle ground in realistic. So you can get War Thunder now for free on PC, PlayStation, or Xbox, and use my link in the pinned comment or video description to sign up. That includes multiple premium vehicles, the exclusive vehicle decorator Eagle of Valor, 100,000 Silver Lions, and seven days of a premium account. This offer is only available for a limited time, so don't miss it. I think everyone can agree, there is no way this subreddit would be nearly as popular or relevant if Cardi kept releasing music. If that was the case, this community never would have developed. This is what happens when you abandon a subreddit and you leave the community to develop itself. But this only took place over the course of four years. Six years max, if you count the era between these two albums without new material. And even then, Cardi has released some content, even if it's just features and singles here and there. What happens if you leave a subreddit for nearly 10 years in the exact same state with almost zero content? You get r slash Batman Arkham. The Batman Arkham games are beloved by many as landmarks in the early 2010s gaming scene. Even to this day, go back and play those games. They hold up better than most modern games. The studio responsible for these games, Rocksteady, decided that Arkham Knight in 2015 was a good place to leave the franchise. Even though they could have kept going, they stopped it there and honestly, respect to go out on a high note. No, we don't count that game, and definitely not that one, but we'll get to that. So as the story goes, a subreddit was created in 2014 for fans of the Arkham games to discuss what they like, share their fan art, and other normal community things. This subreddit was created when the hype for Arkham Knight was real, and that's the only thing they've really been able to get hyped for since. And since there's been no mainstream Arkham content since 2015, the subreddit started to slowly die with little to talk about. Batman Arkham Knight is a great game, sure, but you can only talk about it for a certain amount of time until you've said everything there is to say. They were starving for new content and the subreddit was slowly dying. Then this post came up. Is there a lore reason he is called the Arkham Knight? This post, unknowingly, 
released the hounds on this subreddit. For whatever reason, this became a massive in-joke within the community. Is there a lore reason why he's called Killer Croc? You could ask any question and just throw, is there a lore reason in front of it? Like, is there a lore reason I got cancer? Jesus Christ. And the reaction would be, haha, yes, I like this. Also, somebody at some point made a poll asking what the worst Arkham game is in the community's opinion. Arkham Knight, Origins, City, or Asloom. This typo is now enshrined into Batman Arkham lore. But the most iconic one was one that sits on the top of the subreddit right now, showing Gotham City in disarray, with the caption, Why doesn't Batman just call the Justice League for help? Is he stupid? I'd say this post is what took it from, oh, ha ha ha, this is funny, to opening the floodgates of pure insanity. Is there a lore reason for blank and is he stupid became standard template whenever posting to the subreddit. Is there a lore reason why he's stupid? The insanity spiraled so out of control that the mods had to address it and the TLDR of this entire post is, there's been no new game since 2015, what else are we supposed to talk about? And also, we find it funny, so it's gonna stay. They also created this meme because if you take away Batman's ears, he just becomes man. But of course, with modern internet brain rot culture, this is not enough. You have to push a meme to its absolute limits, to the point where it's no longer recognizable. So we go from man to guy. I look like a good guy. Look. You're just a guy. Yeah, a guy. To just the. I'd say despite being incomprehensible at some times, the subreddit is weirdly wholesome. They drop the act and mourn the death of Kevin Conroy, who played Batman in the classic Batman animated series, as well as all of the Arkham games. So they had a solid moment in memoriam, only going back to posting shit like this a few days later with iconic characters like the Jonkler, the Rizzler, Killer Cock, it's me, Killer Cock, and of course, Dick. Similar to the Playboy Cardi subreddit, it spiraled so far out of control that it began to bleed into other subreddits like r slash Christianity. After literally nine years, they were finally given a new Rocksteady canon Arkham game, Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. Surely this new game would bring the subreddit back to some form of sanity. Uh, no, that didn't happen. This game was awful. It was actually so awful that it plunged the subreddit into even more insanity. It's like being starved and somebody finally offers you a rock to eat. Does anyone know if there's a lore reason why this game sucks ass? So the subreddit dunked on the game and then acted like it never existed. But this whole thing with Playboy Cardi and Batman Arkham becoming abominations of what they once were, this whole concept, I want you to understand how rare this actually is. It's almost a phenomenon to be studied in my opinion. There are countless abandoned or semi-abandoned subreddits that still exist exist and they just die without anyone knowing. I mean, go back to the numbers I showed you in the intro. For the Playboy Cardi subreddit, obviously it's not the only reason he's relevant, but I can guarantee you, one, it's definitely not hurting his reputation, and two, people have been put onto Cardi's music because of this subreddit. For Batman Arkham, it's even more impressive because this subreddit is more relevant than the next canon game in the series that was released by the same studio. And speaking personally, as somebody who loves Batman and Playboy Cardi, this is the best thing that could have happened to keep these relevant. Well, sort of relevant. It exposes a whole new audience to something great. There are more active posters on the Batman Arkham subreddit than there are people playing the new Suicide Squad game that came out a year ago. A parody subreddit about Batman is more culturally relevant than a triple A video game with tons of money pumped into it, published by Warner Brothers with a DC Heroes license. What's crazy is the creativity to make these subreddits go insane while still keeping them like somewhat on topic, I guess. The closest thing to this are the subreddits that turn on the topic they were originally about, and this happens all the time. The Fighter and the Kid is the most obvious example. I've covered that subreddit in two separate videos, but other subreddits like the Spoonie Experiment and Boogie2988 have become sanctuaries for people to shit on what they used to love, and I would say deservingly so in that case. There used to be a subreddit called Sam and Tolkien that was originally about an online couple who separated via divorce because of adultery. The Sam and Tolkien 
subreddit, which was originally created to document this whole adultery situation, became an internet drama subreddit. They were the ones who created the infamous boogie thread, completely unrelated to Sam and Tolkien in their drama. And sure enough, it just became a drama subreddit until it was banned. There are some like r slash JonTron, which make fun of JonTron's upload schedule and even at one point turned the whole subreddit into a Scott the Waz subreddit because of John's absence. Recently, it's been spammed with posts of JonTron if he was blank, but these are clearly done out of love for JonTron. Maybe if he doesn't post for another two years, it'll turn into something like Playboy Cardi or Batman Arkham, which in my opinion just shows how passionate the fan base really is. But why don't you see this happen more? I've been saying it's rare, but why is this the case? Well, typically for one of two reasons. One, moderators will attempt to keep the relevance of the subreddit no matter what and keep it on topic despite how irrelevant that topic may be. Or two, moderators abandon the subreddit and let it turn into anarchy, which inevitably leads to it being banned. It's a balancing act. If you moderate too heavily, even when it's dying, it's going to die even faster. But if you leave it to linger with no moderation, it's going to be banned when you let literally any post through. It has to be a perfect storm of willing community community, a dead subject matter, and a good mod team. My channel was built brick by brick by making fun of Reddit and Reddit mods. But I'll say today, on the record, Reddit mods can be good, and these are two prime examples. If you guys know any other subreddits like these, please comment them. I want to know more because I love this shit and I want to see as much as possible. If you want to see a video about the more toxic side of Reddit, check out the video on the left where I talk about Reddit gaming communities. And if you want something that the algorithm claims is best for you, check out the video on the right. You can be the one to judge if it's actually the best for you. Until next time. What? And a shout out to War Thunder again for sponsoring today's video. Make sure to check it out for free and use my link in the pinned comment or video description to register. If you're new or haven't played in six months, you'll get a massive bonus pack across all platforms, including multiple premium vehicles, in-game currency, and more. They make videos like these possible.